our original builds in this video today. Yes. What have we got? We've got Steve's 1966 Plymouth Fury Sports Fury 3. Yes, that he ended up finishing up in the Richard Petty colours when the kids were little. Mm -hmm. And the kids were little when this car was when we started building this car because we started building this car when we were still at home. Yes, with Steve, and they were right into that Cars movie, so they were all wrapped because it was the Dynaco blue, and they loved the King. Yep. So, Uncle Steve was building a Dynaco car. It was pretty cool. That's right, <laughs> Richard Petty blue. Yes. So, but when it <laughs> arrived, and this was like a long time ago because. He was very hands-on and he rented a space here at the factory when we first got it. Mm -hmm. And that's like over 11 years ago now. When he, the, he first started, he rented a, a car space. Yeah. And then over time he rented two car spaces um, to be able to build his car. And at the same time we helped him with his car build as well. So we did a lot of work on the car, structurally as well as um, um, uh, modifications wise so um, he did a lot of research we did four-wheel disc combination on the car um, we did some strengthening to the front end heavy-duty torsion bars yeah. we did a, uh, a 383 stroker to 496 cubic inches and why did we go so big because we could because well, we could go bigger because but. anybody who knows Uncle Steve knows he's got two speeds Fast and, and faster. faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this car was built for. Yep. yep. <laughs> Many a motorbike Super trip was spent. Supersonic Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Many a motorbike trip was spent with Uncle Steve through the mountains. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> and we won't talk about how fast we used to no, go, but no. yeah, going but too fast to look at the speedo. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But anyway. Um, yeah, so it, it was a, a three eighty three stroker, originally a three eighty three two barrel with a 727 behind it. Now it was uh, 496 cubes, um, MSD ignition. It had uh, a, a six speed transmission, a, a, a GM transmission modified by uh, TCI to fit behind his uh, engine. Awesome combination. Floor had to be modified, but the, the people that were doing the, the paint job on the car, they did the, the modifications to the floor and, and they did a good job. Um, they had an issue with the rear window though, but we'll talk about that later. But anyway, it, it went through that into a uh, GJ Driveline's tail shaft into a Dana 60 rear, again, disc brake. And it had- Rear ratio of? Uh, four elevens, yeah. And, and it had um, uh, mono leaf and Caltrax on yeah. the rear. The motor also had the Victor heads. Yes, the motor had Victor heads, which, which, we, cho which we chose. Um, over a, a, another set of heads that he bought that, uh, well, they just weren't up to scratch. They weren't as good they as the Victors. Yeah. 440 source. 440 source, 440 yeah. 440 source, yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yes. so they had ended up with the Victor heads and he had a Holly double pumper on it with a dual plane. Yes, I, I suggested to go single plane, but he went dual plane. And so that subsequent... we could get all the talk. Well, he, he got too much <laughs> talk. <laughs> Because it was so powerful, it just couldn't get All traction. All the talk. <laughs> All the time, no, no traction. And that went through a set of TTI headers into um, a dual three-inch exhaust system, and it was a, a fantastic combination. But unfortunately, we didn't get to finish the car, no. so the car went all complete other than glass and interior, went back to New Zealand, and it got finished off by a trimmer in uh, New Zealand and the glass work got well started to get so, done let's backtrack a little bit here mm. when uncle steve started building this car and the kids were little and i love looking at the pictures of this because you couldn't keep big al away from cars even back then mm. and he's in uncle steve's garage helping shane and or dad and uncle steve build this car but when he went to buy this car he had a choice of two cars didn't he he had the non-rusty gtx he drag had a, pack well he yes we went and had a look at a car because he asked me to come with him because he, he valued my advice on buying a car so i said look we'll go and have a look at a car it was the first car we went to go and see and it just so happened to be my favorite car 
of all time that Chrysler ever made, and I still think is the best, which is a 68 Plymouth GTX 440 drag pack. Oh, four speed, Data 60, 14 gears. Oh, it was just the best. It was, it was, it was the car. It was the car that every little boy looked at and went, oh yeah, that's a man's car. So he had the choice of that or the very, very rusty. Plymouth Fury, which well, ended up looking really, really good. It wasn't overly it rusty. It wasn't overly rusty. It just had some... But he was lucky that by yeah. the time he trailered at home, the rear screen was, was still, still in it because the rust around it was Well, when I went to excessive. take the rear, because he asked me to take the moulds off because he didn't want them damaged. So as I'm taking the rear window moulds off, I just sort of grabbed them and went... Shoo. So that was the easiest mould <laughs> removal ever because part of the vehicle came with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it had a little bit of rust, just yes, a little bit. So, you know? Unfortunately, there wasn't much of a frame left in that rear window. And I think the people who... Just the lower part mainly. And, and when, they'd, when they'd rebuild it, they... They didn't have much to work on. Well, they, they, they cut it out, but when they went to replace it, they, they changed the shape a bit and then... When he went to put the window in, it didn't fit. <laughs> and glass doesn't like to bend. So well, it bends a little bit, and then it goes pop. <laughs> and, we've, and we've had this issue before, especially with Duncan's Dirty Dozen Charger yep. that's actually above us at the moment, um, where the hole ended up being a different shape and too small. So you have the choice of either fixing the hole and making it the correct shape, and that's really difficult to do especially once the car's been fully painted and restored or you have the choice of getting another piece of glass made which is what we went down the track of here yeah a bit um, harder for steve we could have still had glass made for that car to fit the wrong hole but he was in another country by then yes so, so it was not an option <laughs> so. unfortunately well unfortunately for us because i would have loved to have gone cruising in this car and I'm sure there's a whole heap of New Zealanders over there in Kiwi land that see this beautiful blue fury that's off its face <laughs> cruising along the street, making short work of island hopping. Yes, yes, <laughs> and wrecking a, a many set of, uh, of treads. Yes, so, so, so doing some skids. Yeah, <laughs> doing some skids, smashing down the wellies. <laughs> <laughs> in the shape. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, with that cackle of that 496 yeah, cubic inches. Absolutely. So unfortunately we didn't get to see it. Steve being a New Zealander ended up going home and he took the car with him and he finished it off. He got home sick. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. So, and they had to go home and and they went home and, and um, finished their car and, and then um, as Steve, anyone that knows Steve, drove for a little bit then sold it. <laughs> so, but Steve's always done that. So. Well, I don't know. Some people find the joy in the build. Yeah, yeah. I can remember he was getting pretty stressed out with some of the bits. But, you know, he's going, oh, I don't know how this fits. Especially with the letters on the bum bar. He had a lot of struggles with those. <laughs> we, won't, we won't talk about the plim moth. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyway. but it ended up looking a treat and oh, came yeah. together very, very well. Yeah. And it was great. It's great to see it running and driving yeah. and yeah, yeah it's, and thank you very much to Uncle Steve and Aunty Vicky for sending over the footage of it driving, driving. and starting. Yes. It's always good to see that. So yes. hopefully you guys over there enjoy watching it cruising the roads. Yes, Richard Petty Blue, 66 Planet Fury 2, 3. Very nice. Sports Fury 3. So don't forget <laughs> to click like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Yes. It's muchly appreciated and it helps us great. keep making more content yeah. for you guys. So Thank yeah. you. See ya.
If you like this video, don't forget to click like and leave a comment. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you like the t-shirts that you see the crew wearing, there's a link in the description below where you can grab some for yourself. Thanks for watching.